Hi, this is Shivana Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about the breakup tactics for men, how to get your life back after a breakup. And the specific strategy that I want to cover with you right now is stop talking about her. Your friends get tired of hearing about your ex over and over again, especially if it's a blaming game and you keep on chewing on the same stories, repeating them. And so, you know, check your social circle. Sometimes you will have this friend who is in a breakup zone and they keep on bringing the same story over and over again. How does that make you feel as a friend? After a while you go like, in the beginning you want to be supportive, but after a while you go like, oh, no, not again, you know. And the reason why this is happening is because your friends can feel that you end up being trapped and you are in this vortex of pain and you are bringing everybody into that. So, you know, we can honor the pain. We can honor the fact that there is a transition zone there where we are going to recover our power. There, there is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with being vulnerable and being in, in a weak spot, in a place where you need the support and, and uh, understanding from other people. But when this, this support and it's this understanding and this emotional loop stays as a permanent state of mind over your life for an extended period of time, you know, whether it's one month, two months, three months, sometimes years, you know, break the pattern, break the cycle. And one of the ways to break the cycle is to stop talking about her. Stop talking about your past relationship. Talk about something else. Don't bring her into your conversations. When you start doing that in the beginning, you know, it might be a little bit challenging because, you know, you have all these thought processes and you are frustrated. But try it out. You try to step out and talk about something else. And uh, even if your friends come to you and go like, hey, how is it going? Did you see your ex and what's going on there? You don't talk about it. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Let's focus on something else. Let's go and train. Let's go and move our bodies. Let's do something else. Let's talk about something else. This is what I encourage you to do. It means that don't bring her into the conversations. And uh, the reason why you want to do that is really because the moment you keep her out of your mind by not invoking her into your conversations, it cleans your energetic and emotional space. We talked earlier about cleaning your personal environment, you know, cleaning your virtual environment as well. Now we are talking about the mind environment. Every time you mention her name, every time you mention an experience from the past with her, you are going to bring back that memory into your system and anchor, you know, experiences or memories that might be traumatic. And yes, if you have, you know, cool stuff to say about her. Yeah, she's great. She's dating a new guy. Yeah, we had a great relationship. Here's what I learned from it. You know, it's like if you're in a positive state of, of mind around it, that's no problem. But if you are one of these guys who is trapped there into blaming mode and, you know, bitterness and sadness around it, then, then don't invoke her. Don't bring her into the space. You have a friend. You have a possibility for a conversation. What are you, what are you going to talk about? What are you going to build, build there? And uh, if you need support, if you feel like there is something that you need to share with somebody about some experience that you are having with her or something that really bothers you or something that is painful in your system, then there are very simple solutions. The first one, work with me, contact me, have sessions, coaching sessions with me directly or with another coach, with a therapist. It means that you use professional help and support so that there is a space there which is contained, which is not going to be the, you know, reflections from friends who are bitter about their own girlfriend or their own breakup. You know, very often your social circle is not going to really help you heal. And so if you need to talk about her, choose either that, you know, the professional help. You go to my website, vitalcoaching.com, you sign up for some sessions with me. We can do that via Skype or phone. That works really well. Or, you know, some other coach or therapist you might be used to work with. That's strategy number one. Strategy number two is choose one or two selected friends with who you create a safe space. You know, you go for a drink and that's it. The topic is your breakup. 
And then you focus on that, and you know that that person is going to be able to listen. You trust that person. They are not going to add oil to the fire. They are going to be able to listen. It might be a female. It might be a male. It doesn't matter. But somebody that you can really trust. You keep it contained. You talk about it for half an hour, and then you leave. You see? It's the idea of creating a safe context in which you can voice and express without, you know, overflowing uh, these dynamics all over your social network. This is the idea. Stop talking about 